Creative Labs. Yes. Welcome. Thank you very much. How CA? We do love it's Creative great. Labs. Yes. Oh, I'm glad to you hear guys that. We've been yeah. around for like a long time. How we many years? We certainly have. Well, we started in the late 1980s and Sound Blaster was introduced in 1989. 400 million Sound Blasters later, here we are at the CA Live show in New York. Wow. wow. Yeah. Nearly, incredible. nearly half That's a amazing. billion. Push, closing in on the half a billion mark. That's right. That's <laughs> wow. Right. And so we're talking speakers here for those people who don't know. And sound um, cards and things sound, like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Audio sound, related type stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've set that up perfectly because what we've done now at Creative is we've taken that audio heritage from the 400 million sound blasters and we've combined it with a Bluetooth wireless speaker. This is a product called the nice. Sound Blaster Axe. And this it is what I was actually really excited about. Sorry. It's a, oh, thank it's, you. It's like no. a towering inferno of speaker. Mm -hmm. This is unlike anything on the market today. It's, an, it's a whole new generation of Sound Blaster. What this is, is a Bluetooth wireless speaker that has a Sound Blaster audio processor inside of it. Huh. It's called the SB Axe One processor. And it also has really high quality dual array microphones. So I can talk to the speaker. Yes, you can. It can become my friend because I get, you know, I get lonely at home sometimes. Sure you do. I need to talk to something. Sure. <laughs> sure you do. I understand. <laughs> Wait, why do I want, I mean, like, so I can use it as a speaker phone? Yes, I use this as a speaker phone. I just did a Skype call on it. But it's future-proofed, too, because think how fun it will be to be able to use voice recognition with this. It's all controlled via an application called Creative Central. That's for your iPhone, your Android device, your iPad. We also have it for Mac and PC. Okay. You've got this great chip processing power that enables you to go in and customize all your settings for playback, but also for voice. So now, if I'm on a call and I want to set a beam of audio, for example, with active noise reduction, or perhaps I want to do a a volume attenuation with smart volume. I can manipulate all of these settings so that I can From totally the app? customize, yeah, in the app, totally customize my call to be the audio settings I like. Same thing with audio playback. Wait a minute, I got to interrupt you for a second. Please okay. do. Because you, you just threw a lot at me. Yes. Okay, so I'll give you two different scenarios. Yes, please. Okay, scenario number one is. We're back at the office. We're sitting in our conference room. Yes. We're going to do a conference call, and there's like four people sitting all around it. Okay. Okay. And then scenario number two is I'm just at my house, and I'm sitting at my desk, and I'm going to call my mother on Skype, and it's only me. Yes. Are you kidding? You never call your mother. I, I know. I'm terrible. Sorry, Mom. Anyway, <laughs> so what happens is... You're saying I would actually go in and choose a different setting for those two type of situations? You or certainly you could. on the fly. With the Sound Blaster X, what you can do, for example, if you're in a room with multiple people, there's a setting in our Crystal Voice suite of voice technologies called Focus. That's a beam that I can set from 20 degrees all the way up to 180 degrees. So if I want it to just include me, but not pick up any of the noise around me, no problem. If I want it to pick up everyone in the room, I just set it for a wider beam. How is that wow. literally, how is that possible? Ah. Because normally, you know, what I'm thinking is, uh, you know, we've got a lot of gear here and we're wearing these mics. These mics have certain characteristics. We chose right. these because they're very... You know, they pick up what's right in here and, and not what's back there. Else. Yes, right. You would normally use like a shotgun microphone. Like if I wanted you but not Callie, I'd point a shotgun microphone at you. Yes. And then she could talk and it wouldn't interfere. Or if I wanted to pick them both up, I use a completely different type of microphone. But we don't have five both. different microphones in here. That's not moving the microphones around. What you do have in the Sound Blaster Axe is a very high quality dual array microphone. Okay. So not a run-of-the-mill mic by any stretch. Right. And because you have that you processing in? Yeah. of the SBX1 processor and the audio technology that Creative is so steeped in, we're really able to develop some compelling voice communication technologies. It's really nothing like it. I guess so hey. if we said, like, uh, you know, you could set it for 180 degrees and everybody on this side of the table would, it just, 
leaves the mics kind of active for everybody. That's right. But if I said I only want in the middle, it, it hears the relative volume levels and somehow kind of cancels out the things that are closest and narrows in on me, I guess. Like You've it. gone into the app and just set that beam to your liking to pick up whomever you like. That's crazy. Yeah, it's cool. I okay. love it for playback. Though. Wait, are these I mean, out yet? Yeah, well, sure. You have the same uh, versatility when you're talking about movies, music, and games for playback. I'm going into the app, maybe I want bass enhancement, maybe I want a surround sound. Really fun, really cool, and you know, same concept. Lots okay, of technology. Okay, so I think there's more than focus, right? I mean, so yes. focus will allow you to set the beam. Yes. But I saw some other stuff in the demo video. That's right. There's noise reduction. Okay. So if I have ambient noise in the room and I don't want that there, perfect example. Yesterday, I did a Skype call in my hotel room. The air conditioner was screaming yeah. at All me. Right. Okay. <laughs> Sirens out in the street. Here I am in New York City. Of course. Yeah. Hey, no problem. I have noise reduction. Turn that on. Uh, smart volume is something that enables me to move away, gives me that freedom of movement with the Sound Blaster X. I'm not going to have to shout at the device if I'm further away from it. It na naturally attenuates so that my voice is picked up at the same volume regardless of where you are. I really see. cool stuff. Interesting. Yeah. Does that thing have a battery in it? Uh, this is powered by USB. So what we've done here at the show, for example, That's, is we so just have like a tiny little USB. USB power pack. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing the audio that comes out of this, but we have very high quality amplification going on here. So tiny USB current, great power, and very easy to move around because of that versatility with USB. You just have a little power pack, or of course you plug into your Mac or PC. But, but, but you, could, you could use like any external USB yes, battery pack. That's basically. exactly right. Okay. That's what we're doing here at the show, right. And it's just one speaker, or do they daisy chain together or anything, or is it got- You only need one speaker, and it's designed to be used independently because we have what we call a stacked stereo speaker design. Okay. And if you took off this cloth, what you would find is there's actually a speaker pointing this way and one pointing this way. You get that room filling uh. audio, and I can even enhance that with some of my S SBX Pro Studio audio settings, once again, powered by that chip, to really deliver room filling sound. So you only need one. That's gotcha. the beauty of the Sound Blaster X. Is it the, the top touch activated? The top is touch activated. So the same controls that I would have in the app, uh, some of those are featured here for easy reference. I can mute, I can answer a call, I can turn up the volume, I can set that focus that we talked about. But I can also talk to it and it'll understand all the voice recognition? Well, voice recognition, as you know, is an evolving Tricky. science. Yeah. So uh, I've had some pretty humorous mishaps with it, but no <laughs> fault of the sound wait blaster a minute. Well, wait. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. It has voice recognition built into it, or the software application uses the microphones that are built into that to do this? Well, because you're connected via Bluetooth wirelessly, right? Uh -huh. You're basically using your iOS or Android device, which would have the voice recognition, maybe Siri, like, maybe Ava. Yeah. So instead of picking up your handheld device and speaking to it, you just talk you're just naturally that. connecting to the Sound Blaster X when you walk in the room. You walk in a room and say, hey, How's the weather going to be today? Or play this song. Ideally, voice recognition then goes out to the cloud, processes that request accordingly, right. and does what you asked it. Yeah. As this evolves, uh, I think as voice recognition evolves, we definitely have a future-proof device on our hands here. Very cool. So I'm seeing a lot of this included, and this is kind. Of, is this one of the smarter speakers that that I've seen? Thank you. Um, but I'm, I am seeing the speaker movement kind of getting smarter and smarter, and there's a lot going on in that arena. What do you think is next? I mean, if this is future-proofed, what can be added to that, that that we might see in the next five years? Well, I would like to say that this is, this is exactly what you're going to see, because Bluetooth is so versatile, iOS, Android, PC, Mac, whatever it is, the voice recognition really makes this exciting. But when you see a high quality microphone that really honors anything you want to do, you know, high quality business call, personal call, you don't want to have to compromise anything. I think it's an all in one, no compromise device. And we're able to do that with the heritage of Sound Blaster Audio. I think this is, this is future proof for five years. Okay. Uh, we, we tried to think of everything and we yeah. tried to make it look really cool too. I think it does look it does. cool. Thank you. It does. Yeah. I, I think. Uh, 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 what, what what might be cool too is 
And I don't know if you guys are working on this or if you're, you're just going to plan on that one. Um, what might be cool would be to have like a series of these things. Imagine like if there was an even smaller one you could use for like that had a battery in it that right. that was like portable, and then like a giant one. Like I'm talking like four feet tall. Just take that and scale it up, and you could put it in your house and just have one tower speaker basically. Right. That'd be awesome. Well, that's a brilliant call because <laughs> this is called the SBX10. We do actually have a larger one, about oh, this tall. Okay. It's the SBX20. Okay. okay. So th that's perfect for that larger room yeah. in your home. Exactly okay. right. And we do have a little one oh, that is do. USB tethered called the SBX8. So I see, see, he's I, foretelling the future. I mean, you know, are you, are you a marketing guy or yeah, something? Yeah. <laughs> right. That's very well cool. Played. Okay, so <laughs> the chat room is asking um, about price points. Yes. So this is the SBX10. This is $149.99 US. The SBX20 that I mentioned uh, is $199 US. And then the little SBX8 USB device is going to be $99.99 US. Those aren't nice. bad price points at all. Going to be. It's not yet out or it's... That's right. This is, so this is, the, this is the show <laughs> yeah, yeah. making its debut. Okay, okay, so okay. It's great to be here. Yeah. Uh, the SBX10 will ship in July, and then the SBX20 and the SBX8 will follow shortly in August. Awesome. Okay. So the team's working hard yeah, at this yeah. Time. Yeah. <laughs> is that one just a shell or is it actually real? Does it actually This work? is real. Okay. It works. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes. This is my buddy. Yeah, sometimes. We travel oh, yeah, because you said you were using it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Sometimes, you know, when, when it's coming close to time to launch, the products are not quite ready yet, you know, and people bring like shell, you know, fake ones, if you will. But. Oh, believe yeah. me, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, that, that last 5% of product development yeah, is right. always a nail biter. That's for sure. <laughs> and that's for sure. Lots of, uh, Lots of five hour nights energies. going on out there. I, I'd like to thank the engineering team for letting me sit here and, you know, normal just time take all of day. Credit, right? Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, we just whipped this one out here. Uh, exactly. I wish. Yeah. I wish. Very cool. Hey, before we, before we let you move back on to uh, other people, um, anything else interesting that we should be keeping our eye out uh, from Creative? Yes, please. Uh, certainly, in addition to the Sound Blaster Axe, which you can learn more about on soundblaster.com, of course, we have a whole family uh, of Bluetooth wireless speakers, and one of the things we've done that's very innovative, in my view, certainly, is that people looking for a multi-channel system have, have been challenged by the fact that Bluetooth has been, traditionally, a one-to-one -one proposition yeah. of yeah. device to speaker. We're using a 5.8 gigahertz signal to create a modular system. Huh. So if you go to creative.com, you can okay. see that we have a Bluetooth speaker family, but you can also outfit your whole home with a multi-channel system that uses that 5.8 gigahertz wireless coming from a Bluetooth device to really create multi-channel. So, so you mean I could, let's say, have four speakers in a room wirelessly. Yes, sir. I can connect to one of them with my phone. That's and correct. And it then broadcasts to its brethren. Yes. And bingo, we got the yes. whole. That's the creative D5X and D3X systems. We even have a wireless subwoofer. That nice. is, uh, nice. you know, eviction ready. Believe me, that will rock your uh, apartment or room. Yeah, it's, that's it's, awesome. It's awesome. That's yeah, what exactly. I like. Really so, powerful stuff. So, um, do, does Bluetooth s s transmit 5.1 surround, or or does it just do stereo? I don't even know. Oh. Uh, Bluetooth is basically a 16-bit uh, audio signal that'll come to the device. But what's happening then is because you're you're able to uh, spl split out via 5.8, we can give you dedicated channels. Left, uh, right. You can go what okay. we call party Rear. mode, where it's oh, the same okay. thing yeah. coming out of each speaker, but we can do a dedicated oh. left, a ah. dedicated center, and a dedicated okay. right, and it really works beautifully. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. That's quality stuff right there. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you. Never a dull moment at Creative. <laughs> no. Well, you guys are very well, you're creative. On top of things, yeah, yeah, it's an so. apt name for the company. Yes, I, exactly. I concur, yeah. Well, you guys are actually giving away um, a speaker. We're giving D, one away? The D100, yeah, which the, is. Awesome product. Okay. It, D100, you can plug it in, or you can just run it on AA batteries, 
I take mine to the beach all the time. It's perfect. Great little product like this big. Stuff it in your backpack and connect really easily to any Android or, of course, iOS device. You're good to go. So perfect, perfect for this, nice. for this time of year, right? Mark is all talking right, so in my head. He says we're giving away three of them? Three yeah. of them. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah. All the Let's details. Have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the details about this, Sound Blaster Axe, are geeky.tv slash Sound Blaster Axe. Or Sound Blaster two, Axe. With two X's. That's kind of a... Or at creative.com. Sound Blaster Axe. Right. It's kind of a tongue twister if you try and say it really fast. Well, I, most people won't really say it very fast. Okay. Just you, because okay. you like to do that. Um, but also, you guys can get, um, can get the D100 uh, speakers at gplus.to slash geek. Beat. I can't seem to remember. G plus I just want to say geek beat, geek beat to win one of All three sets. All the details are there. They're and, posting the link in the chat room. And I'm sure that even if you don't win, if you want to buy one, you can probably get it on Amazon, right? Amazon or creative.com. Creative.com. Or uh, about 14 billion different re retailers right. anywhere, right? Yeah, you can, it's, uh, MSRP is about $79.99. Okay. But uh, yeah, you can find it everywhere. A very popular product and available in different colors as well. Uh, blue, green, pink, and black. There nice. You go. Yeah. <laughs> and these are in July. Yeah, the SBX 10 goes in July and soon to be followed by the SBX 20 and SBX 8 in August. Right? Okay, well, I hope we get one so we can give it a good. Oh, it will be my pleasure. That will yes. be very awesome. fun. We'll, we'll do a follow up do review a... for you guys. Yes, I appreciate it so we'll put, much. I'm... We'll put it in our uh, conference room and we'll exactly. give it a good conferencing test call. Totally. So, so does this mean now you're going to call mom on Skype? <sighs> Come on. I guess hey, I might have to give mom a break. I'll give mom a call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll send mom a Sound Blaster Axe also. Ah, uh, there you Are go. We good? No, okay. then I'll, have, then I'll really be pressured to do it. Then yeah, I'll be in big you're trouble. You're right. <laughs> Pressure's on. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Phil. Thank we you appreciate so much you coming. Thank you for having me. Oh, no so. problem. Thank you for All coming. Right. Cheers.